Ben here. Um, we're talking about arpeggiating guitar chords here, all right? And what that means, again, is uh, taking the notes individually in a chord as opposed to playing them all at the same time harmonically. All right, so if you were to just strum a chord, um, it would sound like this. But if you're going to arpeggiate, you're going to select which notes you're going to play in it. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, learn another pattern, a good exercise that will uh, work on your accuracy between strings, um, uh, skipping strings, things like that. All right. So this pattern is going to go between G and C. All right. And it goes like this. You can start on the sixth string, and then you're going to do an up stroke on the third string. All right, which is an open, and then a down on the open fourth string, and then an up on the uh, B string or second string. All right. So you have. All right, now get used to this. Play it with a metronome, however you want to just program this into your hand. And then we're gonna add the C major chord, all right? So we're gonna go back in between and play almost the same exact picking pattern, but the root note is gonna change. So you're gonna go from the sixth string, play it four times through, and then you're going to play the fifth string, um, play it four times through as well, and then back. Um, all right, great exercise. Uh, G to C, picking pattern. And what we're doing is arpeggiating the chord, which is playing individual notes of the chord as opposed to all at the same time. Um, all right. Uh, Tune in for a third arpeggio video, which is going to show you basically the fundamental way to arpeggiate a chord um, from the bottom to the top. Uh, I will see you there. All right. Hey guys, thank you for checking out these videos. If you want to look into more of the videos, click on the links around me. Uh, if you have any requests, send them to requests at mahalo.com. I will see you soon.